Hi traders, this is Dennis speaking on behalf of Pips Matter and I'm presenting a really special video for you today. In this video, I'm going to go over a few high probability trade ideas. I'm going to go over our prediction for the stock market for the rest of the year. I'm going to go over, for, uh, I'm going to go over the fundamentals for today and generally this week. We still have today and two more days left. I'm going to speak about a lesson in risk management and finally I'm going to present you some company information. Something big is happening with Pips Matter and I'm going to go over it at the end of this video. So make sure you watch the whole video. It's not going to be a long one and it's going to provide you with a lot of specific information. So let's go over the high probability trade ideas first. We're going to go over three different sectors. First one is Forex. Uh, in terms of currencies, we see weakness uh, coming to the yen. We believe that the JPY will be weak for the next three to six trading days, if not more. Uh, those tensions with the US and uh, North Korea should start having an effect on the yen. In return, the commodities and of course cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin will head higher. Um, that's in terms of Forex. We will be heading into the chart right after this and I'm going to give you the trades which I will summarize on the chart. Uh, let's go over commodities. Commodities, we have not much happening. Oil is range bound right now. We expect it to move between $40 and $50 until November this year. That's when the big OPEC meeting will happen. Now, prior to the OPEC meeting, we could have a similar scenario like the last two OPEC meetings where we are buying the rumor and then we're selling the fact. A very good strategy to employ before uh, big news events. So oil will be range bound, that's at least what we expect, uh, to range between the 40 and 50 mark, maybe 52, uh, but basically trade in this range bound movement, which I'm gonna go over. I'll also go over the yen. Finally, crypto, we remain strongly bullish on all cryptocurrencies, more specifically, we expect Bitcoin to reach 5,000 until October 2017. So let's go over the, let's go quickly over the, the trading chart right now and go over the couple of trade ideas we have. Now, these are not certain trade ideas. These are trade ideas in the making. So what we want to do, the strategy we're employing on these trades today is a following strategy. Basically, we wait for something to happen and we react. So, reactive technical analysis. Let's go over the chart very quickly. Okay, so the first pairs we're going to go over is the yen pairs. Uh, you can see that USD JPY four hour chart, uh, you can see price action breaking out of this trend line here. And that happened today when it crossed our Dochin channel and our moving average here. We are now quite bullish on the JPY, USD JPY. You can see that for good reasons as well price has not broken this strong support area which it used as a support in uh, well the 14 6 2017 we are now bullish on USD JPY we're basically bearish on the yen not very bullish on the dollar we do expect strength to come from the dollar moderate strength and temper temporary strength but in overalls we are bearish on the yen that's why we are looking to buy this pair USD JPY Let's quickly go over Euro JPY for you to see something similar happening here. Euro breaking out of this area here as well. You can see a nice little trend line here and price action is trying to break this area. We are looking to buy uh, Euro JPY as well. Good indications here. One more hour left for the four hour candle to be completed. Now, once we come closer to that one hour, uh, we are on uh, UTC plus zero here. So we're waiting for this four hour candle to finish. Once it finishes or when it gets closer to finishing, we will be getting in our trade. The basic idea is to buy this support level here, this resistance. You can see it has been a resistance in the past, right now a support. So this is even a good trade right now, I, which I will actually take 1.5 lots, 1.5 lots uh, as a pending order. So if price reaches this level one more time, I will get in with a pending order. Now the pending order has been set. My stop loss will be right down here, which is 33.3 pips. I'm targeting below my EMA and DC channel. The stop loss take profit area would be upwards of this area 
here, which is a good risk reward, more than more than two to one. You can see 115 pips here. This is a very good risk reward, and I'm very happy to take such a trade. Um, now, like I said, the JPY should remain weak. We do expect it to be weak for the next three to six days, if not more. It could it could actually be longer, uh, weaker. But uh, in overalls, yeah, we do expect uh, the JPY to be weak, Euro to be strong. Actually, I see that price is going higher anyway on the one hour chart as well. So I will make this a market execution trade and still set my stop loss about, well, 36 pips now. I lost those three pips based on the, based on the price entry. Now, take profit up here and I'm going to forget about this trade. Eventually, I will turn my stop loss into a trailing stop loss once I have significant movement uh, upwards, which I expect to happen in the next four to eight hours. Looking at AUD JPY, you can see something similar happening. Um, again, price action trying to break above the EMAs here, but also breaking, well, trying to break this trend line here, already out of this one here, already above it. So resistance at this trend line if it's broken then we head to this green sorry this yellow line in overalls weakness on the yen these are the trades we're trying to focus on today we're tr trading a weaker yen i'm more than happy to stay only in euro jpy i don't want to overexpose myself on other correlated yen pairs that would be just stupid so i'm gonna focus my my attention only on euro jpy why well because uh we have this Resistance turn support, best indications so far. We have this trend line here, which is, well, broken, retested. Price action is using it again. But in overalls, I do expect Euro JPY to head higher. Now, you can see that we are at a high here. So there could be some kind of pressure from the sellers. But if we, well, in the next hour, if price action doesn't break this level here, I think that this trade is a good one. And I think it's going to, well, uh, head into profit. So, we can. Let's go over oil. Okay, you see a lot of information here. I'm going to clean my chart. And then I'm going to show you what we're looking at. We're looking at price action chilling in this range here. So, this yellow range here. We expect some kind of weakness to hit the oil market soon. As you can see, these trend lines here should be used as a support. So I think that oil should head down to 45, which should weaken the oil correlated currencies, which are uh, the Norwegian crown, the Russian ruble, um, the Canadian dollar, and of course the Mexican peso. So I think that by oil weakening more today, and especially tomorrow when we have the crude oil inventories, they're not going to be today, they're tomorrow. Uh, I think that they're going to be supportive for weaker oil prices, meaning they're going to they're going to be well high. Uh, so I expect oil to reach 46, 45 area within the next one to two days. In regards to Bitcoin, very important information. Let's go over Bitcoin. Just find it. Don't have it here. Just a sec. There's Bitcoin. You can see Bitcoin trading above 4K already. Reaching 5K will be a piece of cake for this asset. Uh, flying high, I mean, if you had $1 worth of Bitcoin, what, in 2010? <laughs> Let me just tell you a funny fact. If you had $1 in Bitcoins in 2010, that $1 worth of Bitcoins would have been worth $1.2 million today. I think that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are one of the main reasons we're going to see a recession in 2019. But I'm going to speak more about this in another video. Let's go back to the slide. So I explained, let me summarize this. We're bullish on Bitcoin, we're bearish on oil, and we're bearish on the Japanese yen. We opened one trade, Euro JPY buy, 1.5 lots, stop loss 35 pips, and take profit 100 and something. Let me just see exactly. Take profit... 104 exactly at the price of 130.673 and my stop loss is 129.269 i'm bullish on euro yen basically i'm trading a weaker yen i don't care about the euro so much right now i just care that the yen is weak 
Uh, oil is bearish. I actually will take that trade in before we finish. So I'm going to buy, I'm going to sell actually, and I'm going to sell for 10 lots here. Stop loss, about 9 pips is okay, right here, and then take profit will be down there. So a 1 to 2 risk reward is okay here, I'm happy with a 1 to 2 risk reward. I have Euro JPY which is currently 2.6 pips in profit, oil a little negative from the get go, taking it downwards, Bitcoin I won't touch right now, um, well I, I just don't like Pepperstone's, uh, Pepperstone's feed of Bitcoin of uh, Bitcoin. Uh, I prefer Kavasi's one, so I'm going to trade it on Kavasi. Anyway, let's go back to the PowerPoint and continue this presentation. Okay, so I went over the weakness of the yen on the chart. I showed you some examples. I've taken a trade. I went over oil, taken another trade there, and I explained uh, in a bit more detail about Bitcoin, and I told you that I will be buying it on Kavasi's platform. So let's continue. Right now, we're going to be going over December 2017. This is our stock market prediction. We have excellent reasons to believe that in December this year, we will face a correction in the US and world stock markets. We expect to see double digit reversals to the downside, but a recovery to the upside could follow on October 2019. This is when we believe the long awaited recession will actually come. So let me explain this in, uh, in more detail. We believe that till December this year, we are going to see a correction in the US and world stock markets. Double digit drops. A recovery could follow right until October 2019 when we expect a recession to begin. I know this all sounds doom and gloomy, but as traders, we need to always be prepared to make money on both sides of the trade, the upside and the downside. We're not investors. We are traders. Traders make money on selling and buying, uh, investors, they just sit there, buy some stocks and wait for some kind of top to happen. They're boring, they're not professional most of the time. Uh, I'm a trader and I like to obviously make money on everything I can. So I want to remind you that the 2000, and the 2000 top, which was the dot-com bubble, that was the Nasdaq crashed very hardly. 2007, that was the housing bubble. 2017 top, well, we're expecting it to be in December and we expect somehow it to be correlated possibly to the uh, politics in the US. I'm not sure. I don't want to predict that. I'm just waiting for a correction. Uh, we are already actually preparing to sh for short positions on US indices. The date we expected the correction to happen is actually December, but it can easily happen as early as October. So right now we are in that waiting mode. We're very prepared to take advantage of everything, but we're in waiting mode. What this means is every day I have pending orders set to sell side. Um, they're quite wide on US uh, indices, but I check them and recheck them every night before I go to sleep. So prime time US market, uh, market trading time is when I am actually reviewing the, the pending orders I have. I frequently actually move them up or down, but basically we are ready to take advantage of the moves in December. In regards to the fundamentals this week, today the main events come out of the UK and US. The bigger one is coming out of the UK where we will see inflation data. This inflation data is sure to attract attention. Um, and from the US we get retail sales. Only they will, they will attract attention only if there is a big move. So I think that we could see a weaker GBP during the during the, the UK uh, news, UK inflation data. It hasn't been very good. It could provide weakness to the GBP. But like I said, the keyword here is could. Tomorrow we get uh, ECB and FOMC minutes. Both of these could shed more light on two important questions. Interest rates. When are they happening for both central banks? And QE, when is it being cut for both central banks? Important, important decisions. In regards to uh, sentimentals, let's say, tensions continue to rise between North Korea and US. In our view, a milita military confrontation between these two countries is low probability, but it is a high impact event for the market. So regardless of what happens here, big movements could be expected. 
Here's our lesson on risk management. Now, many people have debated whether trading success is attributable more to trading techniques versus psychology. To me, the clear and best answer is both. But the point where the two intersect is risk management. A huge percentage of trading success or failure can be laid at the doorstep of risk management. Yet, most traders overcomplicate risk management. That's why, to me, risk management is one clear, direct sentence. Here's the sentence. I'm not going to risk more than 1% of my equity per trade. There's no rocket science here. Just a commitment to keep your words to yourself. Can you keep your word to yourself? If you can, then perfect. You're going to do just fine. Make sure to make a commitment to keep your risk slow. I need you to remember, however, that 80% of your profit will come from 20% or less of your trades. That is why you will need the ability to identify, wait for high probability trades and then maximize uh, and take maximum advantage of those specific trades. What I mean by this is increase your risks on higher probability trades, lower your risks on lower probability trades. Now, we're about to end the session and we're going to go over that Forex seminar that we will be doing in Belgrade, Serbia, 14th of October 2017 at the Life Design Hotel. That's pretty close to the center. This is Project Belgrade 2017. Now, on October 14th this year, we will be hosting a seminar in Belgrade, Serbia to a possible attendance of 130 people. That's how many tickets we have available. If you are in Belgrade in October, we'd love to see you. If you live in Belgrade or in Serbia, or you are very welcome to come. Now, the information I will be presenting in this seminar will not be for beginners. Rather, a clear trading strategy and a lot of specific information will be provided. This information is usable information. You can use it to trade the markets the very next week. So, you come to the seminar. The seminar lasts uh, from 10 to 5. Plenty of hours of information. You're going to receive a lot of information, trading strategies, questions and answers. Uh, lots of things at the seminar. It's going to be a very unique seminar. And once it's done, you're going to get a lot of things for free, such as you're going to get 90 per, a 90% discount to our Udemy recorded courses. So you're going to get it for peanuts. You're going to get access for five whole days for free to, for me to basically teach you how to implement everything into live trading environments. Nobody does this. It's going to be awesome and you just need to attend if you seriously want to improve your trading. But best of all, 10% of all tickets will be given to a local charity organization and a fundraising will be held during the event to boost donations. Um, this event will be sponsored by Kavasi.com. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, leave the comments in the, well, just leave a comment or email us at hq at pipsmatter.com. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, lots more information coming. Thank you for watching and seize the day. Goodbye now.